Hello people, in this video, let us look at the treatment of osteosarcoma. So basically you know that this is a malignant condition of the bone. This is a bone tumor, bone cancer it is and uh, usually if it is metastasized to other places, the person can die within 2 years. Okay, with surgery around 5 years they can live. Mm, uh, that is uh, also a very uh, slim chance. So anyways, uh, we will try to treat this osteosarcoma now. Okay, so you know what and all about it already you know. So far that um, you know that it is metaphyseal malignant condition. So basically it is of bone formation. It has bone formation, right? So uh, there will be osteoid or new bone. And in this uh, osteosarcoma, there are two types. You have the classic or central or medullary, which is the most common, uh, which you should know. And this is the one that is really aggressive and it comes in 10 to 20 year old children. This is uh, having two types, primary, secondary. Primary means uh, unknown uh, kind of uh, or a genetic kind of cause. Secondary means because of some other things uh, it has come, okay, because of some other existing disease. So here mainly we have looked at the medullary uh, osteocarcinoma, right, or the uh, central one. This is affecting young patients, 10 to 20 year old boys, usually male, right. And it affects the metaphysis of the uh, bone. And um, now you have seen this diagram, isn't it? See how the bone has become. And this looks like the lower end of the femur. Just see how it has become. This is the uh, necrosis and hemorrhage in the bone and all this. So this is affecting these young boys, right? Uh, so uh, anyways, uh, so we have looked at all this. Then uh, what, else? what else have we looked at? Yes, the central one is highly malignant. In this you have the primary and the secondary. Primary is because of genetic factors like RB gene mut uh, mutation, P53, the good uh, tumor suppressors are mutated and uh, MDM etc. has become more. So secondary is because of some disease which could be a Paget's disease of the bone or fibrous dysplasia. So the central one is the one that is highly malignant. In this you will have this osteoid formation, new bone formation and this is highly malignant. So what we told you it was this, uh, it can be having poor prognosis. Okay. And uh, what else uh, did you look at? Uh, primary, yeah, primary we already told you, RB gene, P53 are mutated, MDM is overexpressed. Secondary is uh, where um, you have it because of pre-existing disease like the Pages disease of bone, fibrous dysplasia, etc. Or chronic osteomyelitis, because of all that you will have secondary. Uh, we are just taking a recap guys, in case uh, you are feeling that it is too much, we are just taking a, re a recap of all the pathology that you have seen, okay. So basically this one is highly malignant, the central medullary or the, uh, what is this, uh, what, what is the classic is very highly malignant, right? So basically you can see here the, the bone is in the metaphysis, it is extending and it extends longitudinally, right? And it extends uh, laterally also uh, and the only person who can control it uh, here is the epiphyseal plate, right? The only the epiphysis can control on this side, otherwise it will, uh, uh, it can go everywhere, you know, this side, this side, every, all these places it can go, it can even metastasize to your lungs, brain, etc. Here you can see a necrosis and um, hemorrhage, basically the bone is uh, growing in such a way that you can see sunburst pattern, okay, sunburst pattern you can see. And then it will lift the periosteum. So when it lifts the periosteum, what will you see? The cord band triangle like this. You can see it, will, it would have lifted the periosteum. Okay. So that is what you have to know about osteosarcoma. Very important terminologies there or cord band triangle, sunburst pattern, etc. Okay. Then um, uh, what else have you looked at? <clears throat> it will go to the other bones, lungs, brain, we told you. Clinical features, these people will have uh, pain, tenderness, swelling, uh, especially of this knee joint and their ALP will be raised, alkaline phosphatase will be raised and they can have pathological fractures, right? And uh, what else? You will uh, check, uh, take an x-ray for these people, you will see sunburst pattern, cord band triangle, right? Uh, that's what they have shown in this x-ray. <clears throat> then you can do for these people, um, if you are expecting metastasis right to the lungs brain you'll have to do what CT MRI very good so um, uh, gross uh, in pathology you would have seen gross and mi microscopy gross you have seen that it looks like this uh, just by looking at the bone you can see the periosteum being lifted the, the metaphysis getting affected necrosis hemorrhage directly itself you can see isn't it all this you can see <clears throat> nothing uh, to see there you can see that then coming to microscopy you will see there are two things here you have the stro uh, you have the osteoid the newborn formation and between that you have a lot of cells that is the sarcoma cells these cells are pleomorphic and then there are giant cells also and these cells only make all this uh, bone <clears throat> osteoid bone okay so whenever you do histochemistry you will see that alp is raised right alkaline phosphatase is raised and then you will also see that there is uh, vimentin osteocalcin and uh, Osteonectin, okay, these uh, chemicals will be there, it's immunohistochemistry when you do and then you will also find type 1 collagen, okay. 
So that is what you will see in microscopy in osteosarcoma. So that is what they have shown here. And then uh, this is the drawing from our record where you can see the osteoid, the new bone formation. Uh, that is um, where you can see tumor giant cells, highly pleomorphic uh, sarcoma cells. Okay, these uh, uh, giant cells will have what um, uh, atypical mitosis, hyperchromatism, etc. Right. Now coming to the variants of the central classical or medullary osteosarcoma, the Telenghi ectasis ecta ect Static uh, osteosarcoma. That one is the most aggressive because there'll be dilated vascular channels. So obviously, if it has a lot of blood supply, looks like it will be very aggressive only, right? It will grow a lot. That's why you should not give it blood. All these tumors, no, you should cut off the blood supply. Okay. Then you have another variety called a small cell osteosarcoma. Then fibrohistiocytic osteosarcoma, well differentiated osteosarcoma, anaplastic osteosarcoma, etc., etc. So many, right? Uh, then now we will come to the treatment of osteosarcoma, guys, uh, we, what did we look mostly on? We looked mostly on the classic central or the medullary type of uh, one, which is very uh, aggressive. It affects those young boys, uh, young children, uh, no, boys more, you can say. They has primary and secondary. Primary is because of genetic. Secondary is because of the Paget's disease of bone, uh, fibrous dysplasia, etc. The other type you have is the surface. This is not very ag aggressive. Surface one, on top only it will be right, surface. This will you will see in older people. Anyways, this one we didn't focus on much. We have focused mainly on this uh, central classic medullary. Okay, now look at the treatment for osteosarcoma. Now, uh, when you have a clinical suspicion that this person can have osteosarcoma, you will order an x-ray. What x-ray? You'll have local x-ray you will order and you'll also order chest x-ray to check the to check the what? Yes, metastasis. Okay, focus people. Now you have done the x-ray. Now in the x-ray, what will you do, uh, see? You will see something like the... Uh, where is the x-ray? Do you have photo of x-ray? You will see like the sunburst pass pattern, cord band triangle, all this you will see. Then when you see, okay, you will say, okay, let's take a biopsy and confirm the diagnosis. Then you will take a biopsy from this bone and you will confirm that there's osteoid formation and those uh, tumor giant cell, etc., pleomorphic cells, etc., you will find, right? Sarcoma cells you will find in the biopsy. Where, where are we currently? You tell. We are here in the biopsy. Very good. Don't use green because this guy has got confirmation of the disease. Okay, then we'll use a red. Poor guy has now osteosarcoma. You confirmed that he has osteosarcoma. Now, look at the chest x-ray. You had ordered one chest x-ray. No. Now, take the chest x-ray and check. So, this guy has osteosarcoma. Okay, is the chest x-ray normal or the chest x-ray are having secondaries? Now, let us say the chest x-ray is normal. So, we'll come to this side. Normal chest x-ray means what will you do? That means what should you treat? Chest x-ray is normal. What should you treat? Yes, you should treat the uh, local bone, right? So, you treat the local bone, bone, uh, local uh, site you clean, okay? You do ablation surgery, like what is ablation surgery? Focus guys, ablation surgery, you just remove whatever um, uh, thing is there, right? Locally. So, you can do radiotherapy, chemotherapy, immunotherapy, radiotherapy you can give or chemotherapy or immunotherapy. Chemotherapy means what and all you will give. Methotrexate, anybody will say, say. Say, methotrexate, yes, citrovorum, use the green, it's a medicine for treatment, okay. So, methotrexate, citrovorum, acyslatin, all the standard names that we know, okay. Immunotherapy means, that's a very funny, strange thing, guys, focus, what's immunotherapy? You no, know, they will introduce these cells into some healthy person and ask, and that guy's body will make a lot of lymphocytes. They'll take those lymphocytes and inject into this person now. So, this is what is immunotherapy. Do you like it? I don't like injecting a normal a good guy with a sarcoma cell. That's something I don't agree. Okay, but anyways, uh, you take the lymphocytes from the survivor and uh, give it to this patient, okay? So, uh, uh, surgery you are doing and then you are doing chemotherapy, radiotherapy, immunotherapy, okay? And then this, uh, you can give it, uh, you, if you are doing any amputation, etc. That's what they are saying. Ampute, you will ampute the limb itself, let's say. Then this guy, you have to give artificial limb. Now, how will you ampute the limb? Okay, look at that here. They have written here. You can do, if a lower end of femur is affected. Okay, now let's draw the femur here. This is the femur. Uh, how to draw femur? Like this. Okay, this is a huge femur. Okay, femur is here. And then here you have the tibia, let's say. Okay. And here you have the cute fibula. No, not so cute fibula. Okay. Now, uh, if the lower end of femur is affected, what will you do? If lower end of femur is affected, you have to do mid-thigh amputation. That makes sense, right? Okay. Why are they writing such small things? This is how we know. If upper end of femur is affected, hip disarticulation. They are removing the this joint itself. They are removing. Okay. Or hind quarter amputation they can do, which sounds better. Upper end of tibia if it is affected. Guys, focus here. We are now going to the upper end of tibia. Okay, here. Upper end of tibia is affected. What will you uh, remove? Mid-thigh amputation. Why are they going so deep? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Somewhere above the knee they are removing. Okay. Then if upper end of humerus is affected, that means shoulder joint. If your uh, humerus is affected, 
and that is upper end of humerus okay here if upper end of humerus is affected what will you do four quarter amputation okay fine just remove something a little more proximally they are removing okay that much we understood okay so that is limb ablation that is if um, uh, chest x ray is normal and you want to do local control yeah obviously you want to do local control chest x ray is normal limb saving surgery so now let us talk about limb saving surgery focus guys till first thing they taught you was amputation which is really weird and now they are teaching limb saving surgery what is this they should have put limb saving saving surgery here and then limb ablation here anyways now we are going to limb saving surgery limb saving surgery okay what will you do you will remove the only lesion that is there that lesion you will remove right radically but and then you will reconstruct this with some other bone or something that you will do arthrodesis arthrodesis means you make this joint uh, stuck up like with put fevicol and stick this joint so he cannot move this joint anymore that and all is like extreme procedures and then you can do a joint replacement the entire knee joint you can replace or something okay and this also prognosis is good why is prognosis is good whether you save the limb or not etc because what they are saying is there's no metastasis the chest x ray is normal so that gives them a lot of confidence looks like now let us go to the other side where there is um, secondary in chest x ray okay so now there is metastasis metastasis they don't like they don't like they don't like they don't like metastasis okay now focus here if there is metastasis what will you do ct mri you have to know where and all it has gone in the world you have to check right and then um, whatever possible uh, you can remove you have to remove now so if there is some six single secondary right then if then they are saying okay you just uh, remove that single set secondary and you treat as in a okay this is a and like in local okay so you treat the secondary and also treat the local that is what they will do here for prognosis is fair but once metastasis has happened it is not so fair okay then coming to multiple multiple secondaries are there so the this pro, poor prognosis just keep this person happy till he dies that's what it looks like palliative ablation of tumor and chemotherapy okay just to prolong and make his life comfortable okay so um so in local you have limb ablation and limb saving guys so listen to your doctor whatever they say you have to do okay it's better not to allow it to go into metastasis